Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications' high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. As climate change leads to longer, hotter summers, Washington apple orchardists might want to invest in netting. Growing apples in the Cascades rain shadow is challenging enough. But tree fruit research professor Lee Calcitz has studied apple output as it relates to climate and finds higher temperatures and earlier blooms pose a threat to commercial apple crops. When we shift that bloom time earlier, they're experiencing warmer temperatures when that fruit is maturing. And those warmer temperatures during fruit maturation can cause issues with fruit quality through summer. And that fruit is really susceptible to uh, losses at this when it starts to ripen and gets close to harvest. Apple sunburn tends to happen in temperatures above 90 degrees, and it's the single largest contributor to fruit losses in Washington. In a presentation Wednesday sponsored by the Apple STEM Network in Wenatchee, Calcit said research shows overhead netting across apple orchards may help. Netting also appears to lead to taller, fuller trees. The soils below retain more water, and the fruit tends to be larger. Orchardists can see what's coming, Calcit said. More than 5,000 acres of netting have been installed across the state since 2015. It's a labor-intensive project, and it can be thwarted by other climate change factors. If there's too much wildfire smoke in the air, for example. So what smoke does, it actually acts like a net, too. It reduces light by 20% when you have really good smoke. So when you have reduction by 20%, and then you have nets reduced by another 20%, then you start to get in a situation where color development might not be so good. That's an important consideration and a risk in, in our area where we seem to be getting uh, smoke moving in at these specific times. Jefferson Robbins, iFiber One News.